This is attorney David Petrosky. In this video, I'm going to be discussing AB 2179. This is the California law that was just passed and has to do with eviction protections for tenants, particularly with respect to non-payment of rent between April 2022 and June 2022. First, a disclaimer. The rules surrounding landlord-tenant law and evictions in California is changing very, very rapidly, and this video might not be updated for the most recent laws. This is not intended to be legal advice and isn't legal advice, and you should consult with your own legal counsel before deciding on a proper course of action. I've been representing landlords since 2004. I'm a published author and a referral source for many realtors, landlords, and other attorneys. Prior to AB 2179, the California non-payment of rent protections were scheduled to end at the end of March 2022. California leaders decided to extend certain tenant protections through June of 2022, and that's what AB 2179 does. This video is not meant to be an exhaustive discussion of the extension, and many local jurisdictions, in particular LA City and LA County, have their own eviction protections that are in effect, and you'll want to watch some of our other videos that discuss the LA protections. For non-payment of rent cases having to do with the transition period rent, and I've discussed this in other videos and on our blog, but there is going to be new required language on any three-day notice to pay rent or quit between April 1st, 2022 and before July 1st, 2022, if the notice demands rent that became due during the transition time period. If the three-day notice to pay rent or quit includes only rent from April 2022 or beyond, then the landlord will want to use the pre-COVID standard three-day notice to pay rent or quit. But again, you can only use the standard pre-COVID regular three-day notice to pay rent or quit if you are demanding rent that became due from April 2022 or beyond. To be protected from eviction due to non-payment of rent for any transition time period rental debt, the tenant must have applied for rental assistance by March 31st, 2022, which is when the application period ended. And if the tenant has applied for rental assistance by that deadline, the tenant will remain protected from an eviction while that application is pending. The tenant must pay April 2022 rent onward or be subject to eviction. When we come to the LA County non-payment of rent rules, in a previous video I had discussed the self-certification uh, requirement that was going to come into effect on April 1st, 2022. And under that rule, beginning April 1st, 2022, all tenants needed to do in order to be protected from non-payment of rent in LA County was self-certify that they could not pay rent due to COVID. Well, that has now been changed. Under AB 2179, the LA County rule is preempted through the end of June, meaning between now and the end of June, LA County is going to have to apply the state rules, and that self-certification rule is not going to go into effect. That could go into effect in July, who knows what's going to happen at that point, but for right now, through the end of June, that self-certification rule is not applicable anymore. Now, on the other hand, LA City has their own eviction moratorium, and you're going to have to still follow the LA City rules if your property is in LA City. Overall, though, for LA County landlords that are outside of LA City, this new AB 2179 rule is really a win because it takes away that self-certification. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel as we do post videos from time to time and you'll find uh, the information that we post on those videos quite helpful. You may also be interested in reading our landlord blog at attorneydavid.com. We do post a lot of landlord best practices and tips on that website. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We do post updates on what's going on with evictions uh, on a regular basis. Finally, if you wanted to schedule a consultation with us, we do offer paid consultations for landlords. 
Again, to schedule that, you'll go to our website, attorneydavid.com. Thank you so much.